Well, oh, happy Valentine's Day. We're about to throw some shrimps on the bar. Well, no shrimp, but some beautiful, beautiful steaks. We got us a classic T-bone, a filet, and underneath all that, deep in the juices, marinating, we got us a uh, ribeye. Uh, the ribeye, hopefully I'll show you here in a little bit, but it's heart-shaped, because it's Valentine's Day. But uh, this little... This little marinade is some butter Texas house rub, uh, Worcestershire sauce, some um, soy sauce, low sodium soy sauce, um, and some some of some of America's finest bourbon splashed in there a little bit too. So we're about we're about good on the coals. We're hitting about 500 degrees. So I'm gonna get on there, get a good sear on them, and get them moved off the heat so we can get us a nice medium rare on these steaks so I think we're gonna probably be doing another episode tonight I'll just let you stare at these stare at the fire fire's fun to stare at I think we're gonna be doing another episode tonight me and my wife uh, she got me a little something special for Valentine's Day so we're gonna we're just gonna have a little fun with it so stay tuned and uh, use Use Happy Valentine's Day. Use a rubber. He fell in love of his life, then found a man who called her his wife. They were a duo forever. Their Omaha warriors felt his blood on the earth. With the dust from blood in the face. Have you even watched any yeah, of my? Right. Um, you haven't watched any of my YouTubes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's I'll, rude. I'll do that tonight. Do you even know what it's called? No, what's it called? You don't even know what my YouTube's called. This is like episode three, and you don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I don't. Well, you it's know called. It's gone. <laughs> it's called Toby's Tastings. Oh, what? Well, yeah. That's yeah. So that's Toby's what we're gonna call. Like so. Uh, for anyone watching, I know I say that I'm doing these all for my own documentation, but then I end up doing them like I'm talking to uh, people that actually watch these. I've only, Megan, you, just Even so you know, we only have like three views, so. Okay, this is, cool. Yeah, so. Right. so no, no pressure. No pressure. We're okay. just, we're going to drink some booze and we're going to get drunk and we're going to talk, we're going to ramble at the tape, at the camera. And Steve and Matt call it, uh, Talking Toby, so. <laughs> I mean. So, uh, Toby's Tastings, this is, uh, episode three. Cue the theme music. Should we just wait for the music to come on? Okay. Yeah. Have you ever watched, you know, when they're like commercial break? I don't. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What are you sipping on? This is the Jim Beam Black. What? Well, Jim Beam Black. That's just what it is. Is Jim Beam Black? Extra aged bourbon. Yeah. So, is this our first bottle of Jim Beam Black? No, this is the second one. It's our second. What happened to our first one? I finished it. You? Oh, finished it. I took. So we had a going away thing, and it got drank to maybe right here. And Megan yeah. comes home and says, "This is delicious," and then sucked it all down. No, it was like this was. Here. This is my show. Okay. This is a brand new. Was a brand new bottle I bought today. I went outside and cooked some steaks. Beautiful steaks, though, right? They were. They were they beautiful steaks. Really good. They're really good. Really good. Come back inside, and she's already busting in. I was like, we're going to do... And she was like, sorry, it's just too good. So, I'm actually going to trade these around. What we're going to do today is we are going to do a couple of tastings. We've got um, some Old Forester 100. It is about an $18 bourbon. 
Um, Old Forester Distillery, I guess. Old Forester Berber Distilling Co. 100 proof. We're going to try that one. Uh, obviously, we're going to do the Jim Beam Black Double Aged, Extra Aged Bourbon. Matt's a big fan of this. And then what I got, what Megan, my sweet wife, got me. Mm -hmm. That's who this is, by the way. Is the cast strength. Jefferson's Ocean Aged at Sea. This bottle, and this is actually bottle number 31,717, so really low in number, but this is actually voyage number 14. This was the last on the shelf. This was 87 before tax. This is an $87 here in Oklahoma. Um, and I'm... I've been thinking about this all day because she asked me what I wanted for... Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day. Oh, it's not... Shit, yeah. we're not very good at this. Yeah. Should we take two? Ah, fuck it. It's Valentine's Day. So she got this for me for Valentine's Day. And I've been thinking about it all day. And I love you. Thank you. Oh, uh, later. Okay. okay. Uh, and yes, bub. Okay, love you. Come here. Interruption cue. Come here. Come here and hop up in here. Come here. Come around. Come here. Come here. Careful. Crawl oh under God. the table and come here. Crawl under the table and come here. Crawl under the table. Don't touch that thing. Again. Don't touch that though. Crawl under the table and come here. Come here. What? Sit up here. What were you saying? I was saying that show was bad. It was bad? You don't like it? I want a new show. Show Dude, I just bought I just spent ten dollars on that Batman show. <coughs> Why is that Batman show bad? Do you know what mommy and daddy are doing? Yeah. What are we doing? What are y'all playing? We're playing <laughs> we're playing, we're making we're we're documenting a movie. Yeah, right there. Can you say hi to everyone? I can't. Wait, wave at the camera. My ankle's swollen. Oh. oh. All right. Okay. Well, uh, we'll what we're gonna do? We'll we'll be back in a minute. Uh, commercial break. A little steak update. Apologize for the grill being a little grilly. Uh, I do leave it outside. You know, do most of my grilling outside. I don't know about you, but we're gonna take a look at these sticks real quick. Oh yeah, so we're, what we're trying to do is get us nice nice grill marks on the side. You can see they're going to be a little raw still, but look at that. That is beautiful. So we're going to take them and move them off the side here. This one, we got, we're a little more done on it, but I believe we've got a good grill going on that. And then we're going to flip our ribeye that's heart shaped over. We want to get another, another good uh, grill on it. But these are setting up nicely. Those things are gonna be delicious. We're gonna move them off the heat, let them finish up. Ribeye's gonna be done, it's pretty thin. But while we let it sit up here, what I've got is my marinade. I'm just gonna trickle some of this glorious flavor onto there and you can see that whiskey's flaring up that I put in this marinade. It's still a little high octane. That's just gonna add so much more flavor. So we're gonna get it off direct heat. We're gonna close this up. We've got our smoker closed and uh, that should regulate our temperature a little bit. Let them cook the rest of them through. We'll flip them over, put some more juices on them. Let them finish up and bring them out. So little little extra if you're wondering about the purr poop on my I'm actually under the top of my shop but I got fucking whoever built this shop when we bought this house I guess they thought that they were going to extend this all the way out which they didn't I got fucking bur insulation that birds are nesting in and they get up here in the rafters and the poop and they look at this look at that just look at it would you look at it? 
suck it. Disgusting fucking sky rats. How long before another interruption do you How think? long do you think we should start splicing these together or just try to go? What? Splicing them together? Should we just try it again? Uh, no, it's just, I don't huh? know. What, Where were what we at? Want? Happy Valentine's Day. Take two. Okay, that works. <laughs> Are you ready to take some whiskey? Yeah. We we have we cooked some steaks tonight out on the grill. Um, it was a it, they were perfectly cooked if I do say so myself. You did a very good job on them. Um, what all did we cook? Um, we did steaks on the grill. We made some yeah. deviled eggs. Um, some broccoli salad. That's I'm and, that generous. Um, yes, that was very gener generous. Um, and then I also did some zucchini. So I got a little more accurate with yours. All right, let's yeah. just look at the. Yes, this is so. Um, I'm yeah, mm -hmm. but it's hundred proof. So those are basically the same. Yeah, basically. It's basically the same. So, but those steaks, we got a, a sirloin. We got no, sirloin. No, let me no. Yeah. We got a T-bone. A T-bone. A ribeye. A ribeye. Shaped like a heart. Shaped like a heart. I did and that. And a filet mignon. Oh yeah, a filet mignon. And they were very tasty. Yeah, so if I cut to a video of me at the grill and I'm saying the wrong thing, just listen to her. She has a culinary arts degree. I was skinny when I met her. All right, so anyway. So this is Old Forester 100 Proof. So what 100 Proof means, Megan? What does 100 Proof mean? It's got a lot of booze in it. It, it, it does have a lot of boo booze. So, <laughs> been drinking. 100 Proof, so when you t have a proof, you divide it in half. And that's your percent alcohol. So 100% or 100, 100 proof is 50% alcohol. So I'm going to no, swirl gonna mine. Swirl you can swirl it a little bit. This with wine. No, so actually whiskey tasters do this as Ooh, well. I know, and you do that. And then you can do it like you're hitting a bong, make the bong rip sound. <laughs> and then you want, as you're doing that, you try to taste it. Okay. And then at the end, when after you swallow it and you feel the burning, you get the finish in the taste. That's the finish. Yeah, There's another term for whenever you take whiskey and put them in like different barrels. Mm -hmm. That is also a finish, but this is a different finish. Okay. So I'm going to smell mine. Smell that hundred proof. Yeah, you can smell the, you can <laughs> smell the booze. I actually am getting, I get a kind of corn, like I'm, I'm, we're still new to this. So we're still trying to figure this out, but. It's a sit. It smells whiskey. It's kind of. It's a little more acidic, maybe spice foot smell. I don't know. I'm still. I'm still learning. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, you ready to take a taste? I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my mouth. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Okay. Hey. And you're gonna. Now I'm gonna swish it. Okay. And then I'm gonna. I'm gonna gurgle it. I'm gonna bong the bong sound. Okay. And then I'm gonna swallow. Okay. I'm just gonna probably take a sip. Okay. And here comes our son. Come check on us. Come check on us. Yeah. Don't touch that. I was just gonna look at it. Okay. What's up, bub? Oh, you said I don't need to the table. No, just come. No, come up here. Come right here. Oh, he wants to go under the table. All right. Oh, dude, bonked his head. What's going on? Which game are y'all playing? We're playing games? Make a New Video. <gasps> yeah, game. Hey, can I play that game? Again? You need to be in bed. Yeah, it's bedtime for you. Daddy, Daddy. Okay. Guys. Okay, you came to check on us. What? You checked on us. Are we Why okay? don't you say hi? Hi. Who are you right now? I'm Batman Construction Site. Your construction site Batman. Yeah. I don't remember. Awesome. The, I don't remember the construction site Batman. Okay. Do you want me to put you in bed? Or you want mommy to? I want you to. Okay. Oh, burn. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, we'll we'll be right back after this little. Oh, I forgot the hard truth. I forgot. 
Uh, tomorrow. Oh, oh my gosh, Batman, it's Harvey. Construction site Batman. Oh, it's Batman again. We'll be right back after this little factoid that I put up on your screen that I have just now decided we're going to start doing now. We're gonna be in rare. Oh, medium. Having a child is how you get wasted trying to do YouTube tastings. <laughs> okay. And if you heard that little trumpet sound, that would be our Boston Terrier farting in our kitchen right now. So very classy we're very you know we're drinking we're drinking a lot of whiskey we have it out on display and we have a four-year-old running out here trying to check on us so <laughs> model parents yes so um let's just get right back to the tasting okay. since we didn't get to okay we squirrel it we cheers it sniff it i might i got a lot of vanilla on that i haven't actually mm -hmm. no i, I actually that, yeah. haven't gotten a, like any notes like that like notes but I can actually smell vanilla. Oh, you. Yeah, I um, I second that vanilla. It's the first time I've got a note of really anything besides like alcohol. Whiskey or booze? And that's yeah. 100 proof. That must mean we're really drunk. I hope I'm not going to get that drunk. So, do you know where the vanilla flavor comes from in whiskey? Um, no, I assume it's not vanilla. No, it's not vanilla. Um, so when you have a bourbon, so one of the reasons why I like to drink bourbons and or straight bourbons, um, and Tennessee whiskeys also have regulations like straight bourbons, but we like to stay to the straight bourbons, is the reason we like to drink those is because they have to be um, distilled. The starting product has to be a certain um grain a certain medium so corn typically okay. right um you also have rye whiskeys but it's usually a corn mash and then that has to be when that's distilled out into white dog the white dog has to be a certain proof so it has to be a certain percent of alcohol before it goes into the barrel okay and then the barrels have to be white oak and they're charred on the inside along the staves um and then they have to sit, different bourbons have different amount of times that they have to sit to to become, you know, different, like bo there's bonded, there's straight bourbons, there's different regulations. But basically, the vanilla flavor is from a chemical, I believe it's vanilla, uh, vanillin, and vanillin is actually a chemical that is in oak itself. And sometimes it's brought out through the charring process if you overchar the inside, you can break down the vanilla, uh, vanillin, I believe. But it's basically, as that whiskey sits in there and it works through the barrels and works in and out of the wood, it's diluting some of that chemical into yeah. the whiskey. Okay. And so barrels, for a bourbon, barrels can only be used once. But a lot of times these barrels are taken, not these barrels, but a 53 gallon are taken by the rum or wine industry and they're reused. Yeah. And for us with these little two liter barrels, uh, you know, we'll, we're gonna get probably, you know, maybe half a dozen times before we bleach the chemicals out. And then we might like rechar them and still get some use out of them, but eventually, we'll eventually get all the chemicals out of the wood on this. So the vanilla is from vanillin, and I think I'm saying that right, that's in the wood. Neat. So, yeah. So learn something. Okay, that's neat. So. More that is that is high proof though, but it is very vanilla. This is yeah, it is very vanilla. I never I never noticed any sort of vanilla notes in whiskey, so that's neat. And the finish on it after is uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. You get the alcohol burn, and it's.
maybe almost like a coconut? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, I ain't getting that. All right, you hand me your glass? Sure. How would you just, I'm putting you on the spot, how would you rate this $18 bottle of whiskey? Is this good, bad, okay? Uh, I don't know. It's decent. Like, it's, it's decent? Not, I, I don't not. I would not drink it. You wouldn't not. You wouldn't <laughs> not. You okay, would um, not get sloppy on it if well, someone poured you a shot. Yes, I think. Yes, you'd get um, sloppy on it. Okay. So. So old, old Forester, I would give it. I'd say this is a for eighteen dollars. It, it it's pretty good. I'd give it a probably a. I don't know. Just like a seven. I'm thinking six. It's okay. pretty good. It's better than average. Yeah. It's a better than average whiskey. For sure. For 18 bucks. Yeah. Okay. I think so far this has been a success. Don't yeah. you? Like this yeah. whole like experience. We've been interrupted by Harvey a few times, but like Yeah. I think it's Should we good. just stop? Why? We have two more whiskeys okay, to no, try. Okay, now we can go. Alright. So then the next one. Um, I'm gonna try this one. Okay, we're gonna do these two glasses on the next one. Okay. okay. You really wanna try which one? Oh, you know. This one? Yeah. But okay. no, that is... we're gonna get there. We're okay, gonna do we're it gonna last. Get there. Closer to it last. Jim Beam Black Extra Age Bourbon. By giving our classic Jim Beam Black. Black registered, by the way. Double R. The imported added ingredient of time. <laughs> In our charred white oak barrels, we discovered the smooth caramel, oh, and warm oak notes of this premium extra age bourbon. Full body characters that de definitively were, oh, that's definitively worth the wait. I, I don't know how to read. I've had a couple of drinks. So they're saying caramel. We're going to taste caramel and wood. Well, I've never eaten wood, so I don't know what that's going to taste like. Well, we'll you're see. missing out. You've eaten wood? You actually, you eat wood. <laughs> you want more than that? I don't know. I can't see because your hand's in the way. Well, we're doing a tasting. Yeah, this is a tasting. We'll we're get drunk. Washed. Yeah, we'll do that off camera. Don't say it. This smells like booze. All right. Still smell like booze, she says. Well, I've got a thunder glass. And she's it's right, it smells like booze. It doesn't it's smell not as vanilla. It's boozy, though. Well, no, because this it, is probably oh, 80 this proof. This is a less proof, yeah. Yeah, so this is 40%. Yeah. So, oh, 40, 43%. Yeah. So that's 86 proof. 100 proof, so 50%, 43%. 7% is a significant drop. So, um, it doesn't seem like it would be, but it is. Are we trying it? No, I'm smelling. I'm trying to see if I can smell caramel. Caramel. Swish it and then smell from the top. Don't don't nose in. Anything? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got a yeah. little caramel. I think that that was like earlier. Like that was what it did. We were swishing it and then like you smell it. Well, I get a little, I get a little caramel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> blowing it off helps. Yeah, I'm blowing okay. that those blowing fumes off. off. Oh yeah, I can see that. Blowing it helps. <laughs> Is it just because it's Valentine's Day you're being so dirty? You're dirty. You said blowing it, and you're talking about eating wood. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. My first thought is it's smoother than that. Probably because it's less proof. Less proof. I definitely got, I guess it might be the oaky flavor. I think I got more of an oaky finish. Yeah. Like kind of a woody finish. I didn't get, I didn't get any like specific, like this one was really vanilla flavor. I didn't get any of that with that. No. Definitely um, no caramel like it says. I, mean, I didn't get caramel on it. 
You know what? I did get on it. Drunk. <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> wait till you play that. And like, took the whole thing. Oh, yeah, this is probably, this is completely like, it's probably us being like, and tastes like McDonald's Big Mac. I've never had a McDonald's Big Mac. No shit. Ever. I also haven't had McDonald's in. What year is it? Like. What year is it? 2020? Since like 2000. Even McDonald's breakfast? Uh, 2011 was the last time. Are you fucking serious? Like, I haven't had McDonald's. McDonald's probably in like. I don't know, somewhere between five and ten years. But that is excluding McDonald's breakfast. Yeah. Last time I had the breakfast, it, was, it might have been 2012. And but I know the three I'm people that are like... watching this are like, bullshit, that fat ass is definitely in McDonald's <laughs> every day. But I'm not because I'm not allowed and also yeah, I, I don't. I, I'm, I'm a bit an <laughs> anal. Were you going to no, say anal? No, I was going to say anti-McDonald's, but I don't want McDonald's all up on my ass. So oh yeah, you can't say that I'm, one. like trying to. Shit, we're going to get sued now. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Harvey's in bed, right? Uh, if you're a good, who? Harvey, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you know a good lawyer, we need one for the <laughs> multiple an, reasons. Multiple reasons: the anti McDonald's suit, and also other other reasons. Personal reasons. Personal, personal in law, my in law related reasons. I did is not involved. Let's not even get into it. So I'm gonna finish tasting. Uh, anywho, I do smell caramel. Smell I, that. Yeah, yeah. The caramel, I. But I didn't taste it. You do that bong sound just so well. Like hitting. I can kind of like on the, towards the top and tip of my tongue. Like I know this sounds stupid and pretentious, but I kind of after it sat for a little bit, I did kind of get a sweet caramel. And maybe because it's because I'm thinking caramel. It's like how when you close your eyes mm -hmm. and you think of color, you can see that color. And maybe that's why I'm tasting it, because they wrote that on the bottle. But I kind of got a little bit of a caramely flavor. I'm just doing this over and over. Do you ever, like, okay, so sometimes I'll make me a glass of water, but then I think it's tea. And, like, so whenever I drink it, I'm like, ugh. That's not what I thought. Yeah, no, I had I did something like that once. It was in my buddy's truck in high school oh, and I went to I go like I went to go take a sip of beer, but it wasn't beer, it was his spit cup. So oh, yeah, yeah, I've done that. I've done that with You've yeah, done it? Not with spit cup, but with oh. um, somebody put their cigarette butt out in the Oh, my that's not as bad beer. as a spit oh, cup. Ew. Oh, oh no, that's no, not no. as bad. Either way, gross. Gross. Um gross, gross. So let, I think what we'll do with the Jefferson's Ocean aged at sea castrate, mm. it, it, this is this is 56%, so this is 112, 112? 112 proof. What? Oh, it says it right on the bottle. I don't have to do yeah, the math. Yeah. Oh um, so I think what we're going to do, so cast strength basically means that when it comes out of the barrel, and this is me, this is uneducated, so do your own, so anything that I say on here, do your own research. I'm not, by no means an expert. I think that's obvious. But, um, and if I say something wrong, please be sure to call me out on it. And let me know because that educates me and then I can share the proper information. So, all three of you that watch. Cast strength. What that means is, cast strength is the strength at either, I think when it comes out of the barrel. So typically what they have to do is it has to either go in or come out of the barrel at a certain percent. But they can, with these, like it's okay to dilute them down with water. And so these are both straight bourbons. So there are different regulations that they can't be blended or anything. So their ages have to be pretty true. Now obviously these both aren't small batch or single barrel. So they're blended with, you know, there's large batches of whiskey that are getting put together that are being bottled for these excuse me for cast strength i miss and this is very small batch i assume what that means and i'll look it up but that this is like the strength that comes out of the barrel 
The other thing, since a lot of people aren't going to have the opportunity to buy these or aren't going to, they're not going to be big uh, Jefferson's Oceans or they're not going to go spend $90 on a bottle. I'm going to read the Ocean Agency Voyage 14 Ships Log bottled at Cash Stream. So before we do that, let's talk about Jefferson's real quick. Are you ready for a little educational lesson? Sure. Okay. Jefferson, back in the day... Uh, thought that bourbon being shipped over sea, sloshed around in the barrels, made a different grab. Two of the same white dogs, two of the same barrels, put them in there, shipped one out across some rivers, kept one on land. And when they came back, they said that they tasted a lot of different, more complex flavors in the ones that were on the river. So that's the idea behind Jefferson's. There's actually, according to Wikipedia, been chemical analysis that show that there's more complex. I don't know if that's scientific. Uh, scientific? Scientific. Ooh, that 100 proof is starting to creep up. <laughs> creep up on you. But, um, but we're going to try this out. This one's aged at ocean. I'm going to pour it. Oh. I'm going to pour it. And then we're going to talk about Voyage 14, which is a nice nice little piece of this so I'm nervous about this I'm not gonna lie let's we're gonna let them we're gonna and let them live breathe. for a little bit and I, I of course poured myself a little bit more because that's what you do that's... well it was an accident but mm -hmm. all right let's get these out of let's get these bad boys out of way. Let's get Jefferson's back in the center, right there. Let those breathe a little bit. So Voyage 17 ship's log. Even though they're in Crown Royal classes. Even though they're in Crown. Well, I'm sure as we do this more, we're going to get some more drinkware. But uh, Ocean Voyage 14 was scheduled to sail on May 31st, the official beginning of the hurricane season in both Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The storms at the sea are a normal and unavoidable reality. However, weather exp experts were predicting that this season would have more named storms than typical because of combination of a weak El Nino above average ocean surface temperatures and a weaker vertical wind shear. That's pretty cool. Um, what year does it tell? What year? Anyway, we'll read on. With that prediction noted in the ship's log, Voyage 14 departed the port of Savannah, Georgia on schedule. True to prediction, heavy seas and powerful winds were encountered 450 nautical miles north of the Panama Canal. By June 2nd, there were four named tropical storms working their way across the Atlantic from the coast of Africa, and we're all cranking up hurricane levels at sea. At sea, a tropical storm warning is, is a warning issued by the National Weather Service of the United States when winds between 48 knots, and that's 89 km, kilometers per hour, 50, which is also 55 miles per hour, and 63 knots, which is 117 kilometers and 73 miles per hour, are occurring off or predicted to occur soon. In U.S. maritime warning flag systems, a red square flag with a black square in the middle is used to indicate a tropical storm warning. The U we don't need that a lot in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a lot of tropical or hurricane warnings. Yep. The use of two such flags denotes a hurricane force wind warning of 74 miles per hour and above, with sustained winds of 58 miles per hour gusting to 70. A single red and black flag was run up the ship's mass. Voyage 14 reached the Panama Canal without having to raise a second red and black flag, but they were far from being out of harm's way. The 2017 Pacific hurricane season was also predicted to be the worst in two decades. Tropical cyclones from all around the world, generally about 300 miles north or south of the equator, tropical cyclones form all around the world, generally about 300 miles north or south of the equator. Okay, my reading comprehension. When they form in the Atlantic or Eastern Pacific, the storms are called hurricanes. In the Western North Pacific, they are called typhoons. And in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, they are called cyclones. There has to be a perfect storm of conditions for a hurricane to form. Water that is at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit, relatively moist air, and very warm surface temperatures, and continu continuous evaporation and, con evaporation and condensation cycle and wind patterns. Whew. Yeah. Of varying directions that collide and a difference in air pressure between the surface. A good deal of the way through the Pacific Basin and back through Panama Canal, Voyage 14 sailed under these conditions and had to deploy the double red and black hurricane warning five times. 
The Pacific hurricane season spawned 31 named storms and ended with a super typhoon Lan Lan hitting Kyushu, Japan. The Atlantic hurricane season saw 20 named storms, 6 Category 3, and an unprecedented 3 Category 5 hurricanes and ended with the Category 2 Ophelia tracking all the way to Ireland and the UK. With the beating with the beating Ocean Voyage 14 took throughout 2017 hurricane season, it is poetic justice that this record breaker and survivor be released as cat at cast stream. So this is a 2017 um, and it went from where did it say Savannah, Georgia. It went mm -hmm. south, or, uh, probably skirted the coast of New Mexico or the Gulf of Mexico. Excuse me, the coast like, of oh, New Mexico. Mexico. New Mexico. The coast, the skirted the edge of the Gulf of Mexico, down to Panama, went through the Panama Canal, and then went up. I don't. It doesn't say where it ended, um, where it went, uh, wound up, and it doesn't say when it landed, and it doesn't say how long it was at sea. So I'm kind of curious about those things. I'm going to do some research. But that being said, um, it was tossed around on some cargo ship that did these things and um so yeah it's an 87 90 dollar bottle of whiskey the last one they had on the shelf are you ready to taste it yeah i've never had this this is expensive this is pretty this is pretty high up there i'm gonna smell it okay it smells boozy yeah i mean it's higher or, oh it's the highest octane right yeah it's that whoop I just spilled like a nickel. Just let me know whenever you're ready. I don't I'm ready. Just, okay. Cheers. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. It's salty. You taste that? I wouldn't say salty. It's way smoother than what I thought. Like, my after notes, like you're getting more. It's not burning. No, and you get more flavor afterwards. Mm -hmm. And it's salty. Weird. The, af the finish is salty. I don't know if I taste salty. It might be, it may, may taste salty to me because it's on, the, it says ocean on the bottle. I don't, I don't, I didn't get the salty, but there's definitely more, I can't pick up on exactly what notes there are, but there was more God, flavors. I hope I didn't record. That would <laughs> suck. <laughs> I don't think we could do all that again, but yeah, no. It's pretty good. Wow. It's really good. Um... $90, it better be good. You want to know? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm. If you do just a tip on the tip of your tongue, you can taste how salty it is. Don't lick your glass. Here. Put your, put your tongue like... No, I did. I'm sorry, I just, I don't. Oh, it's, I can taste the salt in it. You do it over salt foods before I do. Like, you, you don't, I'm not, oh my god, here we go. Well, this is gonna turn into a fight. She likes, she uses salt more than I do. I just think maybe I have more of a sensitivity to salt, was all I was saying. Mm hmm Man, it's delicious. Do you want another mm -hmm. little taste on that? I mean... Mind? This is but your don't, Valentine's I don't, Day present. I don't want you to take the rest I, of it. Leave me no, I will note. take the rest of it if I try to drink it. I'm just saying. You don't want me to Do you want me to pour you a tiny bit more so you can mm -hmm. have a little bit more with me? Sure. I know. If you hear a police sound, that's our son. He got <laughs> something for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's good though. It, it is it good. Is, like, well, shit, fucking ninety dollars for a goddamn bottle of fucking. As I said, a little bottle. That's what I went back to work and I was like, oh my god, y'all. 
a glad, little bottle of whiskey. I'm glad, I'm glad you didn't get robbed. Oh, look. Oh, it's got a little map. Yeah. So, I'm sure you can see this. It went from boop, 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 doo, doo, and went up here, and then we don't know. It went somewhere else in the world. So, yeah. little educationals. I was hoping, because I was looking at the other bottles on the shelf, and I was hoping that maybe the map would be different, and I don't think it is. Maybe it's just a generic map. Okay. Okay, well, what note is that one? It's good though. Well, it's really good. Very intense. I'm trying to. I don't know. I just, it's, it's really good. I don't. We're not gonna drink any more of that tonight, or probably this year. This I is probably this is one that's going and getting put up. Um, you know, what special occasions, maybe if that, like that, I mean, especially we, since we bought the last one, you know, what's the fun of just like letting it set in a cabinet? Well, I don't know because if you ever get rid of me, I want to have something, <laughs> something to remember me by, not just something to be like, I'm, ta well, I'm taking the. I'm taking the Jefferson's Ocean Cast Drink 2017, wow. by God. You can't take that from me. Can't you just take the farty dog? The farty dog? <laughs> yeah. You can take the shitting out its ass dog, and I'll take the farty dog. I bet this is really good YouTube. Like, I bet this is, like, might be the best YouTube ever. Do you think people will enjoy this? Do we need a band? We definitely what should don't we do? need a band. Do you want to arm wrestle? No. Okay. Well, well that was good. I'm that glad, was, it was good. I'm, I'm glad it was good. I was I was kind of worried it was going to be bad. Not gonna lie. I mean, I it's it's really 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 good, and I it's salty, and I've never had a whiskey that tasted like that. But like, I wouldn't go out and like. I wouldn't rush out to buy another bottle of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that, yeah. Like, I, we've got a wait. So, there's whiskeys coming up that we're going to taste. <laughs> and hopefully, Megan oh. is around for that. And it, oh, that was a weird way to say that. Oh, hopefully, where, she's where around. Where are we going? Megan's terminal, everybody. Oh, gosh. I was <laughs> I'm just kidding. We really love each other. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um,. No, she might just have a relative or a friend's relative or, or like a friend of her relative murder or no big deal. Anyway, if Megan's still around, maybe we'll taste some of those other ones. And and coming up, I, I've got some, um, of course, y'all know I like the Evan Williams uh, uh, 1783. I've got some uh, Evan Williams bonded that I want to try. And we'll talk about what that means for it to be bonded. Um, I also have some four, a special bottle of Four Roses. I've got some Basil Hayden's. And then I've got my favorite right now, which is is under half of this. And I will be, me and some buddies are going to be going to some distilleries in April to do the Bourbon Trail. And that's the one that I really want to go see. And we'll do a tasting on that. And uh, What's the name on that one? Well, that you gotta oh. leave a little teaser. Oh, okay. I say every time no. I say that we're doing this for my, I'm doing for okay. the, and then I do it like it's a real TV show. Okay, but, sorry. Um, be a spoiler. Also, I want to point out right now, this is the barrel that I gave up on, and I did a, I did like this to to seal it, and it's not leaking, and I've got it down like this, and it's not leaking much. Um, and I'm, so I'm, I'm sealing it like how, uh, Redhead Oak Barrels told me to. And on theirs, I just flipped theirs over. And so on the last episode, you would have seen, I just got this. First off, I complained about the bung a lot. Um, I'll show Megan real quick. This bung, and on the video, I actually ordered another bung instead of, on the video, I said I was going to complain to him. But this bung, when they said to first put it in, they said to do it at like a 45 degree angle and twist. And the bung is not as good quality on as that one I thought. And it kind of shredded. Um, do you, you, do you yeah. mind go get that? <laughs> go get that. That thing just shot out of there like a like a Baptist <laughs> out of a liquor store. Like seriously. Yeah, no, that bung's already breaking down. Yeah, so whenever I got it, it already looked bad, but it's it I, this is actually better. 
than what I thought and you can't really see it. And so for a video in the future, I'll show you, but it, it is holding up better. I ordered another bung. Redhead Oak Barrels sells bungs for two and a half bucks. So I didn't really feel, once I saw that, I didn't really feel the need to like call them bitch and complain a two and a half dollars. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, we just tasted a $90 bottle of whiskey. I think I can afford two and a half bucks. If you can see on this barrel though, it's wet right in here. This is a leak. And I just, this evening, put it, spig it down. They don't tell you to do that, but I did that to uh, get water on that side and get it to start soaking up and put the prep water on the wood to get it to soak up. So I did start doing that. We So we're Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is day three. So we're well within, you know, it is leaking a little bit. The back side that was down, it is, it is leak proof. None of the staves are leaking. The bung is not leaking, which I'm surprised about. So I still hold that this is going to be a really good barrel. Um, the spigot's not leaking. Um, and, and honestly, I'm getting, I'm, I'm awfully surprised on this Freedom Oaks barrel, putting it butt down. It was, it's not leaking. It's wet on the front, but I've got it top down too. So I might, you know, I might not need that barrel wax. So they sent, I, I ordered a care kit for the, the red oak, redhead, redhead oaks. And it came with, uh, citric acid, uh, Camden tabs, which I put in here cause this is water again. Camden tabs help, Camden tabs. Oh, you can hear that whiskey starting to fucking creep up on me. We better pour another drink. Cam, Cam, which would you like? I kind of want to do the the old Forster again. That was pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, I still got a little bit of liquid gold. Oh yeah. Okay. Anyway, so they sent. I I bought the care kit. They sent um, Camden tab, citric acid, oxy sand, a bunch of different like little chemicals and whatnot, and uh, I used the Camden tabs tabs in the Freedom Oak barrels. And, uh, so that's what it has in there with water to keep it from molding up. And I put it butt down. It seems to stop leaking on the bottom. And now I've got it, uh, spigot down, head down. I don't know if this is a head, but this is a head. I think this is a head. But, uh, anyway. I don't know. We'll see. So. Is that it? Are we done? I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think that was good. You think it was good? I don't know. This is my first one. Me I haven't too. watched any Not me. others. <laughs> I laughed a lot whenever I said it was my first one. It was their first one. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you didn't like it, fuck off and go watch uh, Ed Sheeran gyrate or something. Okay. All right. Put it down.
the other right. Oh. <laughs> Watch out for that first step, Mac. It's Maybe a Lulu.